حاجة वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सह नौ भुनक् सह वीर्यं करवावह तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तु मिषा वह ओम शांति 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 ओम नमो भगवते वैवस्वताय मृत्यवे ब्रह्म विद्याचार्या नचिकेत से चेर इन पेज हंड्रेड ऑफ दी गीता प्रेस बुक एंड पेज लेवन ऑफ पी डी एफ फाइव Mantra number five. Okay, let us chant. Ya imam madhvadam veda. Ya imam madhvadam veda. Atmanam jiva mantikat. Atmanam jiva mantikat. ईशानम भूत भव्यस्य ईशानम भूत भव्यस्य न तथो विजुगुप्सते न तथो विजुगुप्सते एतत् वैतत् एतत् वैतत् लिंड भाषे मोसो यहाँ कष्टित् यहाँ कष्टित् इमम मध्वदम इमम मध्वदम कर्म फल भुज कर्म फल भुज जीव प्राणादि आत्मानम वेद अंति के कालत्रयस्य So we began studying this mantra in the last class. <clears throat> Am audible, no? Yeah. So Mahavakya, Atma is there, Atmanam Jivam, and then Ishanam. Two words are there, Ishvara and Jiva. So the words are also there. So it's a Mahavakya. What does it say? Yaha, the one who Veda, one who knows, right? One who knows. What does the one know? Atmanam Jeevam Ishanam. The Atma, the Jeeva is nothing other than Ishaha. Ishanaha. Okay. Then, then what happens? Tataha na vijugupsate. Thereafterwards, that person 
is free from fear. Na Vijayagupta means does not choose to protect oneself. Means what? Means there's no longer any freedom of. I mean, no longer any fear of. Fear of anything. No more anxiety on account of what will happen to me, etc. Because nothing will happen to me. Nothing will happen to me. What will happen? Body will go away. Okay, don't. That's all long ago decided. Body will go through its own course. But I am unaffected. Right? Ajo nitya shashvatoyam purana. Na hanyate hanyamane sharire. When the sharia drops off, I am there. I am there as a sakshi. Jagat sakshi. This is the essence of the mantra. Right? So, Quietly, periodically, we get all these nice mantras. And uh, we saw Bhagavan Bhashikara explaining to us first uh, few words we saw. Yaha kaschit imam madhvadam karma phalabhujam jivam. Yaha, the one who, and Shankara is reminding us. He's reminding us. Paranchikani Vatrinat Swayam Bhu Tasman Paran Pashati Nantaratman Kaschid Bhiraha. So that Kaschid has come here. Yaha Kaschid Kaschid Bhiraha. Imam Imam this. This. Who is this? Brother must be circled now. Yeah. So Imam Madhvadam Jivam Atman. All these are Molam words. And madhu atti, who means honey, anything sweet is called madhu. And one who consumes that sweet thing, desirable thing, is called madhvat, madhvadaha. Okay? And uh, that person is equal to what? Karma phala bhuk. Karma phala bhuk means one who, who enjoys karma phala, who wants karma phala. And either drishta karma palam or adrishta karma palam. Drishtam is punyam, svargam, etc. And so either way, that person is called madhvadam in this mantra. Very interesting word. And but and then also jiva. That same person only. Jiva only we are talking about. And Shankaracharya reminds us, jiva means go back to the dictionary. It's called the, Our dictionary is called dhatu kosha. Our Acharyas, they don't refer to this other thick dictionaries that we have, you know. So, Apte, Hindi, Sanskrit, English, easy dictionary, long dictionary, difficult, big dictionary, all those things they don't look at. Concise dictionary. They say concise dictionary. I like that word, concise. And uh, concise. Yes, get, tell it to me fast. You know, don't make me just... I remember once I purchased this uh, an encyclopedia. No, no, dictionary it is. Webster's dictionary. Thick dictionary. This thick. This thick. Almost as thick as my face. Okay? And uh, it, it's all A4 size paper. These people, you know, they come knock on your door and say, you sign up for this plan. You just have to buy three books a year or five, four books a year. That's it. Those days it was there. And... Uh, I forgot what it is now. And then, you, and so you, for one dollar, you could buy one each, like this, something like that, that plan. Five dollars, you can buy five books now. Then later on, you just buy three, four books in the rest of it. Some plan like that they had. <laughs> so I purchased this Webster's Dictionary. Huge, thick book. And, and there, no, A, B, C, D and all, it, it is, uh, you can, there is a whole recess in the side of the book. So you can, you can, it's easy to, nice place to come with all these things. So here, Shankaracharya, look at that. Jeevaha pranadi kalapasya dharai dharam. Amra kosha, the dhatu kosha says, pranadharani, jeevaha. Same, he's giving that. Pranadi kalapasya. This kalapa, this samuha, this assemblage called body, mind, sense complex, okay? The one who carries that prana, we saw all that in the last class, details, last class, or atma, atmanam, 
and Veda Vijanati. One who knows Veda is equal to Vidana. Veda means Vid Datu, second Gana. Veti Vittaha Vidanti is one form. Another form is Veda. Veda means that uh, one who knows, one who Janati. So Vijanati. Vijanati. Janati could have been fine, but Vijanati. Visheshena Janati. Knows very clearly. Clearly. Satya Mithya crystal clear. Only then this Isha, Jeeveshwar Aikyam will be accessible. Otherwise, there will be too much confusion. Therefore, Vijana, he, right? So, suppose that person knows the Jeeva to be what? Okay, this Jeeva further, Vijanati, Antikant, Antike, Samipe. Antikant is Molam. And Shankaracharya is saying Antike. Tikat means antike samipe, yad vartate, whatever is close, closest atma. Because antikat molam is there, so he is saying samipe, that is just closest to the self, closest to the self. And uh, we shouldn't say my son is closest and daughter is closest and all, we shouldn't say that here. Here we should say, come back to atma, atma is the closest, beyond that there is, you can't go any closer than that. And so, Okay, that antikat and samipe, that which is atma, that atma which is closest to us, closest to the jiva. In fact, the jiva is the closest to the jiva, atma. Which means what? Taking away from the body, taking us away from the idea of body and mind, right? And so, that jiva, how should this person know that jiva? Ishanam. Ishanam, Ishitaram, Ishitaraham, Ishita. Isha, Ishanakarta. Ishanakarta means the, 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 Trishti Karta, Stiti Karta, Laya Karta. One who knows all about the world. One who manages the world, you know, like the CEO of a company. CEO of the company. Like this CEO of the whole universe. Jagat CEO, Ishitaram. And uh, well, difference between CEO and company and this uh, this isha is this isha is uh, is all pervading pervading the jagat. Okay, that's the difference. But just to visualize ishitaram, and uh, he is the ishitaram of who of what? Bhuta bhavyasya kalatrayasya. Because uh, Bhuta bhavya is there in the mulam. And Shankaracharya says, Kalatrayas, yeah. Which was introduced in the Upanishad by whom? Bhuta Bhavyas. And? <laughs> there are only two players in, in, in this Upanishad. If it is not Yama, it has to be who? Nachiketa. 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 Now the question is, where did Nachiketa introduce this card? Nachiketa introduced this card. My goodness. I thought Yama was the teacher. An anyatra, anyatra dharma, anyatra dharma. Yeah. Right. Anyatra dharma, anyatra dharma, anyatra asmat krita krita, anyatra bhuta chabhavya cha, yatat pasya sitat mada. That is a grand question of, of uh, Nachiketa, it is grand because, so grand because, Anyatra Dharmat, Anyatra Dharmat, which Shankaracharya quotes in other Bhashyas when he writes Anyatra He uses that as a definition. This Nachiketa's words has become the definition. He is not even Jnani at that point, but it has become a definition. So, and then there he says, that which is Anyatra Krita Takrita, that which is other than cause and effect. Cause and effect. Okay, he is talking. Even our scientists cannot talk like that. Like that, he is talking. Then what? Anyatra bhuta cha bhavya cha. That which is other than past and future. Within brackets, present. 
same thing, Bhuta Bhagyasya. Yama seems to be using Nathikata's words, right? Kala Trayasya. Bhuta and Bhavya only two. But here, Chakracharya says, Kala Trayasya. Bring the present also in there. Okay. So that Kala Trayasya Isham, the Lord of all periods of time. Okay. Then, All right, we need to read the next, I think. We stopped at this point. Let's read from Tataha. That completes the first three quarters of this mantra. He's going to explain the last part. Tataha. Tataha. Tat Vijnanat. Tat Vijnanat. Urdhvam Atmanam. Murdvam Atmanam Na Vijukup Sate Na Vijukup Sate Na Gopa Yitum Itchati Na Gopa Yitum Itchati Abhaya Praptatwat Abhaya Praptatwat Okay, we'll stop there. We'll pause. <laughs> Tataha. So, uh, what is the mantra? Na tataha vijugupsa. That is what Shankaracharya has explained. All right. Tataha. Shankaracharya is saying, Tad vijnanat urdhvam. Means tad vijnanat urdhvam means thereafter. Consequent to knowing this equality between Jiva and Ishwara. Jiveshwara aitya vijnanat. Okay. That, that means that Jiveshwara Ikyam, what was told in the first uh, three quarters, right? Urdhvam, as a consequence of that. Urdhvam means afterwards. Okay? What happens? Atmanam na viju gupsate na gopayitu ichati. Very interesting word. Viju gupsate. Ju. Gup, gup is the root there. Gup means in the sense of protecting, the sense of criticizing, blaming, all these different meanings are there for this word. Gup. Hiding. Gopyam, right? Gup means secret. Uh, so anything that is secret is also compute, use the word gup for gup. So here, not secret, but protecting. The sense of protecting protects Vijugupsate, protects. Okay? Atmanam na Vijugupsate. Means what? Na Gopayutum Ichati. Atmanam Gopayutum na Ichati. Atmanam here is, is the self. The self, just the self. Atma, Pratyek Atma does not need protection. He knows that. He, he, you can't go and say, I'm going to protect Atma. No, you can't. Atma is protecting itself all along. And it will stay, it stays protected. So there is no problem. But protection will be for this body and mind. Okay. And so that Atma, that Atma there is the general Atma. A reader. So that... Uh, uh, Dehendriya Sangataha. Sangata, this complex, which is what I've been protecting all along carefully. Okay. That he says, this person, Yaha Kaschit Diraha, Yaha Vijanati, Naichati, Gopa Yudum Naichati. What a statement it is. What a statement it is. Correct. Not that the person will not take care of the person's body and all. You'll see, eat whatever you want. No, not like that. In fact, they are the ones we have to learn from such people how to take care of the body. Correct? How to, how to live a proper life. They are the people who can tell us. And so, but that person is no longer anxious as a result of what's going on, going to happen to this body. What's going to happen to me? That idea. Tomorrow is not there. The idea of tomorrow itself is gone. Kunju Samji would say that. In a class, he mentioned, tomorrow, tomorrow, what will happen? That idea, that fear is not there for that person. Okay. Na viju gupsate. Okay. 
Okay. I have written some notes here. Okay. Now, we will go to the next one. Now, we will go to the next one. He is giving a reason why. why. Why should he not want to protect himself? Abhaya Prabhupadvat. Okay. So, Dvitiyathi Bhayam Bhavati. Vridhara Nekopanishi. Correct? Bhayam. Where does Bhayam come from? I am afraid. Somebody says I am afraid. If, if the person goes to a psychologist and says I am afraid, then what will the psychologist ask? Ask the person. Afraid of what? Afraid of what? Tell me more. Tell me more. Then the person has to talk. Has to talk. Family members might come. Work might come. Tomorrow will come. What will happen to my body? All kind of fears will come. So fear. Afraid of this. Afraid of that. Afraid that this will happen. Afraid this won't happen. Afraid my grandchildren will be like. Afraid of. 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 Yeah. Whenever there is a second thing, you can't, you can't eliminate fear. That's what he says. Upanishad says. So, so Taitriya and all those who know Taitriya. Yada ke vaisha ke tasmin adrishe natme nirukte nilayane bhayam pratishtam vindate ataso bhayangato bhavati. So, abhayam gato bhavati. That person gains. Abhaya prapti. This abhayam is a very important thing, right? That's why we are all studying Shastra. Because we don't want all this. Freedom from death also. Death is okay. As many people can say, no, okay, fine. Death I can accept. That also they can say. But fear, anxiety, this, this thing comes and goes, comes and goes. And things are okay now, things are not okay now. This is what it is, life. So abhaya prapti is such an important thing. And then... And then after saying that, that person's bhayam goes away, that Upanishad says, Yada ke vaisha yetasmin udaram antaram kurute. If the person makes even a little bit of gap, antaram, udaram, udaram means just even a little, little bit of gap he creates between the self and the, and the non-self. Dharamantaram kurute atatasya bhayam bhavati. That means then bhayam is waiting. Waiting to come and attack this fellow. There is no, no way you can stop. Yeah, manage fear. We are all good at managing fear. But we are not good at eliminating fear. Correct? No psychologist will agree to eliminating fear. They can help you manage fear. Past and all you can do. It's a good Psychology is good that way. It helps us manage the fear. And uh, so here, Abhaya Praptatva, Praptihi, Praptihi, means gain fearlessness. Because that Advitiyam is there, Advitiya Vastu, Vijnanat. Okay? That is what is being said here, right? Guruji, Guruji Vijnanamaya Atma Upasana gives a uh, this one. Uh, Nabi Beti Kadachana, it says. Okay. Nabi Beti Kadachana. Yes. Uh, Taitriya, right? Yes. Taitriya. Correct. Nabi Beti doesn't fear anymore. All right. Next. Yavadhi. Yavadhi. <clears throat> Bhaya Madhyastaha Bhaya Madhyastaha Anityam Atmanam Anityam Atmanam Manyate Manyate Avatu Avatu Gopa Yitum Ichati Gopa Yitum Ichati Atmanam Atmanam Yadatu Yadatu Nityam Advaitam Atmanam Nityam Advaitam Atmanam Vijanati Vijanati 
So I think in your book it might say kaha kim instead of kim kaha. It's the reversed. Okay? That's fine. Kutahava. Kutahava. Gopa yitum ichet. Gopa yitum ichet. Yetadvai tat. Yetadvai tat. Iti poor bavat. Iti poor bavat. Yeah. Now Shakrajari is explaining this Abhaya Prabhupada, etc. Further he is explaining. Yavadhi. Okay. Yavadhi. As long as. Indeed, as long as. Okay. Indeed, he's saying. He's saying indeed means he's saying hey, we ought to know this. And Bhaya Madhyastaha Anityam Atmanam Manyate. Anitya Atma. So, Bhaya Madhyastha. This guy is just vulnerable to fear. Bhaya Madhyastha. Bhaya Madhya Tishtati Iti Bhaya Madhyastha. He is there right in the, in the middle of fear. Okay. Means the, all factors are waiting to, to create fear in this person. That's why constantly you have to do firefighting. You know? We are all doing firefighting constantly. I think firefighting, I think we, it's a it's, it's, uh, very natural to all of us. We don't need to see fire engines to understand what firefighting is. We are, we are very good at it. So that guy is a bhaya madhyastha. Look at that. And as long as he does what? Anityam atmanam manyate. That's it. Over. How long will this fear be there? As long as he thinks that atma is anityam. Atma is impermanent. Self is impermanent. I am... I, I have a date of birth <clears throat> and after I go, people will people will put a date of death. I won't put date of death. Somebody else will put a date of death. See, that also is there. I don't decide when I die also. How sad it is. At least I must be able to say, I'm so and so dead till that time. No, that choice also I don't have. Okay. Anityam. Atma is Anityam. This is all I know about myself. I am a mortal. It's crystal clear. Okay, so one who considers oneself to be a mortal, correct? Atmanam Anityam Iti Manyate. Okay, <clears throat> so that, that's our idea of the self, body, mind, family. Swamiji talks about Panchanatma, profession, proposition. Man, Body, mind, family, profession, possession. That's it. I think that should pretty much cover all the things that define us, all the things that occupy our mind. Okay. okay so that pancha anatma. Yadi manyate. Okay. Then what tavatu? As long as that, that, that is the case, tavat, so long, what happens? Gopayutum ichati atma. So long, I have no choice. I have to protect myself. No choice. It's not like, oh, that's okay. I'm anxious. Okay, I'm anxious. So what? This anxious, so what, is, uh, is not acceptable. Nobody can just simply sit saying, I'm anxious. I'm anxious, but I don't want to be anxious. Therefore, I have to do something in order to remove my anxiety. Correct? This is how it is. This is what life is. Samsara is like that. So, tavat gopayutum ichati. Desires to protect whom? Oneself, atmanam. Oneself. Atmanam here is oneself. That's all. Not pratik atmanam. Okay? So that pursuit, that pursuit is there. That pursuit is what we call samsara. So then you have to bring everything here. All punyam, papam, this vedas, everything that you are taken into account. Everything that is available to me to protect myself. Secure the future. Samyar, Swami, Guru, everything is needed. It's all fine. Sometimes we need all this. But it's all that all that system that is there available for us. Right? In Tamil, Swamiji says, Samyar, Mamiyar, like that and all he says. 
Amyar means Samya. Samya means Swami. Okay. Mamiyar means uh, this one. Mother-in-law in Tamil. So like that. So I have to protect myself against mother-in-law or what? I don't know. Or she is or she will protect me. Whichever. And so all that whole system. Gopa Yitul Ichir. Yada too. On the other hand. On the other hand. Right? Yada. When Anityam Advaitam Atmanam Vijanati. Correct? One who knows that Atma, the essence of the self, the real self, as Anityam Advaitam, as Anityam, first of all, indestructible, Avinashitu Tadvidhi, Ena Sarvamidam Tatam, Vinasham Avyayasyasya, Nakaschit Kartu Marhati. Second chapter, Bhagavad Gita. As long as but the, on the other hand, if one knows that Atma as Nityam and Advaitam, why? Dvitiyati Bhayam Bhavati. A second one is there means Bhayam will be there. But if the second one is Mithya, Mithya, correct? The second one is Mithya, different order of reality altogether. If the clay comes to know, that if the pot comes to know, I'm sorry, if the pot comes to know that my goodness, I am essentially clay, the indestructible clay I am. And everybody out there, I thought there are so many things and then I'm scared of every other thing. And uh, really speaking, I, I don't have to be scared because every other thing also is clay only. Yeah, this pot is impermanent. I can understand that. But clay, I am potter, I am clay. I better make up my mind. Yeah, don't worry. If you can't make, make up your mind, attend some classes and slowly you keep studying and do some Parayanam, Upanishad Parayanam and all. And then, Paran Chikani Vetinat Swayam Bhuhu Tasmat Paran Pashyadinantar Atman Kaschir Deeraha Pratik Atmana Maikshat Like that, you keep on chanting also and take some classes. Then, this clay can say, Advaitam. Aham Atma Nityam Advaita. That is what he's saying here. That clay which comes to know of that, right? Yada tu. Then Tada. Then what happens? Look at this. Kaha Kim Kutaha Va Gopa Yutum I mean, you all follow this very well, obviously. Who will desire to protect whom from what? What a statement. Only an Advaiti can make these kinds of statements. Yeah, you, nobody else can talk like this. Nobody else. Nobody else. But because God is a protector. And suddenly you are saying you don't want protection even from God? What kind of what kind of stuff you people are studying? My God, you are you are saying no to God. No, I'm not saying no to God. I didn't create this world. God created the world. I'm fine with that. I, in fact, I know nothing about this world other than a few things. That's all I do. Even somebody comes and says, they ask me, where are some good restaurants in Coimbatore? I have to scratch my head. I have to say, use Google. Because I, I really, I don't know. I'm not in touch with all that. There's no time for all. And so I don't know what, I'm an alpha. But if God comes to my house, pays a visit, what kind of conversation I might have with that person? God, welcome, welcome. You know, I'll uh, welcome to my, my house. You have chosen to come. I'm so touched, blessed. So what all I can say? Come, let's have a seat. What's what? What makes you come here to Coimbatore of all places? That to my home. Take me with you? No, no. Take me with you. This wise person is not going to say. He's not going to say all that. And thank God you have come finally. You, my prayers have been answered. That also he won't say. Then what? Then what? How Swarga? How, which loka are you coming from today? Did you take a detour? Did you visit many lokas and come? Can you tell us a little bit about all that? Yeah, those kinds of conversations we can have. But take me to heaven with you. All these ideas will not be there. And also, 
my karma, my body aching, this, that, so many problems I have. Can you do something about that? That also this person will not ask because, because, Because he knows that's all prarabdha, right? Uh, but why? So what? Prarabdha? He can't change prarabdha or what? It's mitya. It's mitya. Huh? It's mitya. Are mitya can be changed. Why not? We change mitya all the time. We convert vegetables to food. Sabji, we do it. We are constantly changing one mitya to another. Why can't God do it? He God. is it's not me. He doesn't differentiate. It's not me. Yeah. That is because this whole karma, anything you talk about, karma is order. 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 If you throw something on top, it has to come. After some time, it has to come down. That order is Ishvara. How can Ishvara violate his own laws? That law is Ishvara. For us, remember, for us, Ishvara is not a person who is who is manipulating this whole world. If that is the case, that person is going to have all kinds of powers. For us, the whole, whole law is Ishvara. Ishvara is there right in front of you. This light is Ishvara. This computer is Ishvara. And so, the, the way things work is Ishvara for me. How can God change the way things work? He can't change the laws. The laws are all fixed. Because my prarabdha is also following, exactly following the order which is Ishvara. Therefore, what God is helpless. Only a Vedanti, only an Advaita Vedanti can say God is helpless. God means your idea of if you think God is a person, etc., then that person is helpless. That is why Bhagavan, you, you can give names and forms to Bhagavan, that's beautiful. But God cannot violate the laws which itself is produced by God, which is God. Therefore, I can't even tell him, take, get rid of this pain, I can't tell him. If I tell him that, then he will smile at me. I thought, after all these studies, Shankarabhashim and all, you're asking me this, he will make fun of me. Oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, I see. You're also helpless? Is that it? You can't change my prarabdha? What kind of god you are? Na gopai tu vichyati chet. Therefore, etad vaitat iti purvavat. Etad vaitat. This is that. Iti purvavat. Nankaracharya says, you know guys, I don't need to explain this because I've already explained it. Purva but like before. Like before means now, where should I go? Two, one, three, just two shlokas before, I think. Yena rupam rasam gandham shabdans parshans tamaituran. So there, if you look in the Bhashyam etad vaitad kim tat yat nachiketa sa prishtam etad. It that means what? This thing that I explained to you, Jiveshwara Aikyam, Atma is Ishwara, that Atma, Tat, what does he say there? Tat, Yad Nachiketa Sa Prishtam, that was asked by Nachiketa. And what was asked by Nachiketa? Long ago, one, two, four, he asked, okay? Anyatra Dharmat, Anyatra Dharmat, all that he asked, right? So he explains all that. Deva Dibihi Api Vichikit Sitam. Jakracharya just remembers everything. Dharma Dibhya Nyatu. I hope you are at the right place, right? Last part of the Bhashyam of this mantra number three. Okay. Vishnoho Paraman Padam Yasmat Param Nasti Tadva Yetad Adhigatam Ityar. Aha. All that he has explained. Okay. So Purva what he says, then uh, he concludes the Bhashyam. So, what is the essence of this mantra? Very interesting mantra, right? So, two or three things have been said here. First, Jiveshwara Aikyam is mentioned by using the words Atma Jiva and Isha. Ishanam. Okay? Those, therefore, Jiveshwara Aikyam, one who knows the identity between the Jiva and Ishwara, 
and then the phalam jnana phalam is also said what is the jnana phalam abhayam abhayatvam is the jnana phalam tatato vijugupsate abhaya praptatva like that shankaracharya has said okay the nirbhayatvam that's the essence of this one so let's look at the anvaya <clears throat> Yaha imam antikat. Yaha imam antikat. Madhuadam. There is a moolam. Within brackets, you can say karma phala bhujam. So when you read this, you can come up with your own anvaya and you can fill up the blanks as you need them. As you need them, right? So madhvadam karma phala bhujam <clears throat> jivam atman <clears throat> Bhuta Bhavyasya Ishanam Jeevam Atmanam Bhuta Bhavyasya Ishanam Veda Kama Yeah, Veda. One who knows this, this identity. <coughs> So here are Jeevam and Ishanam. One who knows the Jeeva as the Ishvara. So Ishanam will be a subjective complement of the word Jeevam, obviously. It's like saying one who knows Rama as the son of Dasaratha. Okay, that something like that. Okay. Rama Sahama Tataha na Vijugupsate. Saha supplied Tataha na Vijugupsate. Full stop. Etad Vaitat. So when I when I was listening to this Katopanish of Swamiji, Punja Swamiji long ago, 1996-97 time. And the molam, not the bhashya, it's the molam. Molam is just uh, explaining the meaning of the mantras. So, so it was very interesting. And then the etad vaitat, etad vaitat, every mantra it comes like that. So you know, we remember that. So the certain parts of the text we always remember, right? Something that's repeated, something that's very unique, has a unique form like that. So that by that is all right. <clears throat> Let's continue reading the Bhashyam. Shankaracharya is going to introduce the next mantra number six. Any questions? You can come back to me later. <clears throat> Yaha Yaha Pratyagatma Pratyagatma Ishwara Bhavena Ishwara Bhavena Nirdishtaha Nirdishtaha Saha Saha Sarvatma iti Sarvatma iti Etat Etat Darshayati Darshayati. Okay. Let's see what this means. <clears throat> Yaha Pratyagatma Ishwara Bhavena Nirdishtaha. Nirdishtaha. Presented. What was presented just now in this mantra? 
and this mantra number five. What was presented? What was presented? Yaha Pratyagatma. That Pratyagatma which was presented Ishvara Bhavena as not separate from Ishvara. Ishvara Bhava, right? So Bhavena here means what? Bhava, being. Means what? The being of the Atma and the being of Ishvara are identical. That Atma which was presented in this manner in this sloka number five, right? <clears throat> so, namely the Trampada was made identical to the Tatpada, huge thing, right? And Saha, that Atma, Sarva Atma iti etat darshayati. That Atma is the essence of the entire universe. Sarva Atma means what? Sarvam Sarvesham Atma is the essence, is the Atma of everything. Is the essence of everything. Which was implied in the, in the equation, but now made more explicit. In the next mantra, Iti Darshayati, Upanishad shows this, shows this, shows what? That, that Atma, which was equated to Ishvara in the previous mantra, is the Atma, is the essence of the entire universe. That Atma is all pervasive, like that. Like that, Shankara is introducing this next mantra. <clears throat> so, this is so some some technical things will come. Like Hiranyagarbha will come. Virat, Antaryami. All these, some words might come. Even the words may not be there, but Shankara will supply those words. Because that Shankaracharya knows this is what is being taught. Oh, that's how, that is the language the Upanishad uses. Kruti uses. This all Kata Upanishad is all very small compared to Brahadarani Upanishad, which is Tandogi Upanishad. Huge text. You wonder, is this how are we going to read this in this life? Also, not enough. Like that, you get a feel. Uh, so this is a small text. Kata Upanishad is a very small text compared to all the and so, but this Hiranyakarbha and all comes keep coming on. And there's a beauty to that. I'll mention that as we look at the <coughs> next mantra. Okay. So let's uh, read this mantra. <coughs> Yaha Purvam Tapaso Jatam Yaha Purvam Tapaso Jatam Adhyaf Purvam Ajayata Adbhap Purvam Ajayata Guham Pravishyatishtantam Guham Pravishyatishtantam Yo Bhute Bhir Vyapashyata Yo Bhute Bhir Avashyata Avashyata Vyapashyata Bhute Bhir Apash no. Bhute bir Vyapashyata Etad Vaitat Etad Vaitat Let's look at the mantra. <clears throat> so this mantra is talking about Hiranyagarbha. Hiranyagarbha. The word that we keep coming because it is the best way for us to connect the whole. See, we are going from our idea of life, our idea of the self, to a completely different idea, a world that we don't know at all, really speaking, correct? So the, so the, the, the Shastram takes us. That is the Shastram's way of taking us. Universe, I don't know anything about the universe. I don't know about anything. Even the planetary system and all, I don't know. What are you talking about? How can you know? How can we know about Ishwara and all, the creator of this world? That Shastram says it's not difficult. 
whatever is there in this body is there in the world in a bigger form. That's all. That's all. Really? Yeah, that's what it is. That is why in Tattvapada and all when we study, what did we say? Sthula Shariram, Sukshma Shariram, Karana Shariram and all we study. Sthula Shariram means this gross body. This is just a solid mass. Okay? And that mass that is visible to me and to everybody else, that is Sthula Shariram. And guess what? Okay, Sthula Shariram. And the universe also has a Sthula Shariram. The visible universe is the Sthula Shariram of Ishvara. Who can be, who has a name called Virat? Virat. That's all it is. Then what? Sukshma Shariram is there. Means all the subtle aspects, the Indriyani. Okay. So, Jnana Indriyani, Karma Indriyani, etc. We know that. That is Sukshma Shariram. Prana, physiological functions. Very subtle it is. I can see the lungs but the breathing, how it happens, God only knows that the breathing is happening. Heart, I can figure out and all, but it is beating constantly. God knows how they're doing a lot of research and uh, it's going on and on. But they can't prevent the heart. They can't say when the heart is going to stop and they can't prevent the heart from stopping. They can postpone it as much as possible. So, all subtle. Say so many things that are subtle. That's it. If you appreciate that, you have appreciated the global universal subtlety, my dear friend. And that global universal subtlety is called Hiranyagarbha. You don't have to imagine anything. If you know the body, you, you know the Virat. If you know the senses and the Sukshma in this body, you know Hiranyagarbha. That is all it is. That's a big relief. Because now the connection, it helps me understand the universe. It helps me visualize the universe. Beautiful. A nice transition. It does that. Like that. That is the idea here. So, here, this Hiranyagarbha is talked about in this mantra. Okay. Okay. What are the things that are talked about? Purvam tapasaha jatam is one aspect of Hiranyagarbha. Okay. And this is all typical. This is typical of the Shastra. Purvam Jatam. First born. Jatam means born here. Okay. And Purvam. First. First Jiva that was ever born is Hiranyagarbha. Okay. And uh, why? Because the Stamashti macro has to come before the micro comes. It's not the other way around, micro, 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 then everything put together is macro. It's not like that. Macro comes first. Then, after that, micro, which is already there in the macro, but the identity is identity. I take on an identity. It's a mistaken identity, but identity. That becomes micro. So, therefore, Purvam Jatam Hiranya Garpaha. Okay. How Tapasaja? How did he? All one, one word, that's all is there. Okay. Tapasaha. Tapasaha. Ishwarasya tapasaha. Okay. Tapas here means jnanam. Jnanam, that's it. We should not imagine Nataraja dance, Shiva is dancing and all that. And standing on the head upside down, this kind of tapas. No, no, no. That is all Amarachitrakata tapas. But for Ishwara, that kind of tapas. We can do this kind of physical tapas, but Ishvara tapas is different, not like that at all. And Ishvara sankalpa, just thought. To kamayata bahusyam praja yeyeti satapo tapyata taitri upanishad. Beautiful. All, all Ishvara has to do is think, may this be, and then it is. Can you give me an example? What is an example? What do you mean you're asking for an example? You're talking about God. I can't give example. That's just the God is like that. That's it. I don't have any choice. No, no. There is an example. There is an example. And that example is dream Akasha. world. Akasha. Dream? Akasha. No, dream. Dream. How did you create the dream world, my dear friend? Huh? 
Maybe you said, and then it became. I want to see nice mountains. This Bangalore, it's all concrete jungle. I want to see some mountains for a change. There you see mountains. The mountains that you have seen, because constantly we've been going around, and some people in Bangalore keep on going to places and they do all kinds of stuff. So it's, they, they, that's it. And it, it comes. There it is. What did you do? Did you travel to the mountains? No, travel, nothing. Just I wanted it, I saw it. That's it all. You can do it. You think God cannot do it? Huh? You have to really think a lot to, to disprove this. Therefore, Bhagavan's creation is like that. Tapasaha. Okay? Tapasaha. That is one part that is said about Hirindagadva. What is it? Purvam Tapasaha Jatam. That is one aspect. Born before. First born by knowledge, by sankalpa. Tapas means here sankalpa. Jnana, sarvajna. All the sarvajna has to do is think. That's all. Yeah. All right. Then what? Ishwarasya tapasaha. Ishwara to be supplied. Next next aspect is what? Adhyaha purvam ajayata. Okay. Same thing. But here, adhyaha purvam. Before, before waters. Adhyaha means adhya. Ad, ad, is water before the waters. Hey, what is this before the waters? Before even the Panchabhutas were created. We should go back to Tattva Bodha and say the whole creation aspect was talked about there. And then, then, Tasmadva, Etasmad, Atmanaha, Akasha, Stambhuta. From Atma, Akasha came, then Vayu, then this thing, etc. Till Prithvi, it came, correct? Before that, Akasha also. Hiranyagarbha was born. Okay, like that, this mantra is saying, before the Panchabhutas, we talk so much about Panchabhutas, the first is the Sukshma Bhutani, then that undergoes what is called, then sense organs and all are there. Right? Because then, what is it? Sattva, um, Akashasya, Sattvamshat, Right? Shrotrendriyam Sambhutam, like that we saw. So, all that happened. Then only this Sushma Panchabhutas are going to get grossified. And then the gross Panchabhutas, which are now visible to us and perceivable by us, is formed. So, it's a long process. But Hiranya Garbha has come before that itself. That is what one fact that is given here. Okay. Then what? Guham Pravishya Tishtantam. Guham Pravishya. And that Hiranya Garbha entered the heart. The human heart. Okay. Just like, again, you should not scratch your head and say, Oh, I can't imagine. No, no, no. It's very easy to imagine. If you do it every night, you do this. You create the world. Then you enter the world. You decided, oh, this is a great place. Now I'm good. Like entering a museum. Finally, we have come to the Salah Jang Museum. And they hide all the facts about the Salah Jang and all these Muslims who came here, who Mughals who came here. And then we come and appreciate all the loot. And uh, so, finally, we've come to Hyderabad Salah Jang Museum. Now it's time to enter. Like that. Like that, I created the dream world and then I entered the dream world. No, it's not like that. You entered the dream world as and when you created it. Pravishya. And there, and in that dream world, I have a body also. I have a body there. Okay. So, either way, I have entered the whole universe, dream universe. And so, like that, Guham Pravishya. What about here? Hiranya Garbha created the world. I mean, Ishwara created Hiranya Garbha. Okay. And the Hiranya Garbha entered this heart as it were, as the Jiva. Okay? As the Jiva. Right? As the Sukshma Sharira here in this body. That is Samashti Sukshma Sharira. This is Vyash Sukshma Sharira. Exactly like in dream. In dream also I do the same thing. I create the world. Then all these living beings are there. Dogs are there. Cats are there. My pet, some dogs are my pets, some other dogs are street dogs. 
everything my goodness this dream world is a very interesting and so all that i do and therefore in the dog also there is that hiranyagarbha ghost in this jeeva human being also the same hiranyagarbha ghost guham pravishya tishtantam yaha bhute bihi vyapashyata yeah the one who vyapashyata the chakra will say pashyati one who knows one who knows this fact that that hiranyagarbha is nothing other than this atma okay tishtantam yaha bhute bihi bhute bihi we will see what shankaracharya is going to say to that that which is surrounded by all the pachabhutas the jeeva okay? one who knows that that brahma etat vaitat etat this this hiranyagarbha is that atma that brahma that you asked means what hey that atma you are talking about which is you are talking about the traveling jeeva you asked about prachiketa hey that atma is nothing that that but that hiranyagarbha the entire universe that is that is the meaning of this one <clears throat> all right so therefore hiranyagarbha and all we should not say it's some foreign word and all so they will translate it as golden egg Because hiranyam is gold, right? Garba means something, some womb, something. The egg. They will just say egg. Okay, you can translate it whichever way you want. But primordial egg. Primordial egg. Okay, primordial egg. Okay, I think I understand the word hiranya garba and primordial. It's going to be difficult for me to understand. And so, whether it is primordial egg or not, prathama jam first born. and golden egg means what what is that hiranyam means what that entity whose essence garbha is gold means what is consciousness self existing self revealing consciousness shining like gold this is a way to think of hiranyam and don't get carried away by all this golden egg gowns see gold. that again please huh Say that again, please. That whose garba, whose essence, whose core, garba is womb. You know, womb is the most central part of the of the human being, and so uh, one whose core, whose essence is hiranyam, consciousness, chaitanam, chaitanyam, which is shining like gold. That is what is hiranyam. For us, in Advaita Vedanta, that is what is here. Somebody else may interpret differently based on their their thesis. Okay, so <clears throat> all right, not bad. Assuming we have understood this gist of the mantra, let's look at the Pash. <clears throat> Yaha kashchit. Yaha kashchit. ब्रह्मण वर्ब इन दिस मंत्र वेर इज द वर्ब How many verbs are there? How many verbs are there? Jatam is one word. Jatam is one yeah. verb. Then, pravishya, ajayata. Okay, pravishya, ajayata. Good. Anything else? Pashyata. Okay, vya pashyata. Pravishya. Pravishya. Very good. Then, anything else? Tishta. Tishta di. Correct. Tishtanta. That also is a word, right? So staying. Uh, remaining in that uh, also so many verbs are there. but yaha 
the one who referring to that person who is studying the shastra, right? Yeah, that yeah, okay. Um, that is the way. To, okay, don't yaha is not hiranyakarpa. Everything else is hiranyakarpa, but yaha is the one who knows hiranyakarpa, right? So that knows is what verb vyapashyata. Only that verb is to be connected with yaha. So that person, that mumukshu, Shankaracharya is saying yaha kaschit mumukshu. Correct? Yaha kaschit mumukshu vyapashyata. It's going to come much later. Then see his nose, Vijanati. Shankaracharya is going to say, uh, Pashyati. Peace. Peace means nose, Vijanati. The one who knows. Okay, that's the way to connect Yaha. One who knows what, if you ask, then everything else in the mantra is going to describe that what. Correct? Got it now? So now we are going to see that. What is? What does this person know? Purvam. Prathamam Jnanadi Lakshanat Brahmanaha Tapasaha. Okay. Prathamam Iti Yetad Jatam. Okay. So Jatam, born. The one who was born, Jatam. Jatam is Utpannam, Shankaracharya says, right? Utpannam, born, created. The one which was who was born, who is Hiranyagarbha, the name of that first born is what? Hiranyagarbha. Okay. Prathamam Jatam Hiranyagarbham, one who knows that Hiranyagarbha, who is first born, and how was he born? Hiranyagarbha born. Jnana Adi Lakshanat Apasaham. Tapasaha is equal to jnana adi lakshana. From tapas, Nagarajarya doesn't allow much room to imagine this word tapas. He says jnana adi lakshana. Jnana adi lakshana. So that is, knowledge is involved here. Okay, knowledge is involved here. And... Uh, Mundaka, tapasa chiyate brahma is there. Okay, those of you who studied tapasa chiyate brahma. That brahma created by tapas. Like that, that mantra says. By tapas. And uh, doesn't explain much. Mundaka doesn't explain. Tell me at least, you should tell me what tapas means. No, Mundaka doesn't do all that. Chakrajari has to come. Tapasa. There he says, Utpati sthiti vijiknyataya, like that something he says, vijiknyataya. By the knowledge of this entire creation, <clears throat> exactly like you created your dream world. How did you create your dream world? Pure knowledge. Pure knowledge of everything in the world. There is nothing in the world that you don't know, in your dream world, that you don't know. You cannot create something that you don't know. Can you create something that you don't know in your dream world? Don't say I have to do some research on it. Yeah, I agree. We haven't thought this, we haven't thought like this before. And so, uh, yeah, go ahead, Anuradha. We do see some people that we don't know. You see some people we don't know. Like you see some people in the waking life that you don't know. Same thing here also. There are people you see whom you don't know. Therefore, we should have copy paste. And then control C, control V in the dream. I also see people whom I don't know. <laughs> this is fantastic, I tell you. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> so, but they are still people. I created a person whom I don't know. I know a person whom I don't know. Therefore, I created that person. <laughs> That's what Swami gives some examples. Swami will say things like, Oh, I saw a person with two horns. And Swamiji will say, you've been watching too many Star Wars movies and all that. And so you've been all these science fiction movies you've been watching. That's why you're copying and pasting all the long ears and then horns and all that. Long nose, one-eyed person, one eye on top. All these funny things they show. 
So, and therefore, you just create it. Now. You just put it. There. All right. Anyway, jnana lakshana. So, therefore, this is not difficult for us to understand at all. <clears throat> because this Ishwara's creation is like the dream creation. Like I created the dream. Or you can say the other way. The way I created the dream is exactly like Ishwara's creation of the world. That is That may be a little better. <laughs> I copied from Ishwara. I don't say Ishwara copied from me. All right. So, therefore, Prathama Jaha, that fact was said here, right? Supparnam, Hiranyagadham, Jnana Adi Lakshana. So, look at that. It's all solid there. Solid words there. Hiranyagadham. <clears throat> okay, let's read the next part. Kim apeksha. Kim apeksha. Purvam iti aha. Purvam iti yaha. Adhyaha purvam. Adhyaha purvam. Ap sahite bhyaha. Ap sahite bhyaha. Pancha bhute bhyaha. Pancha bhute bhyaha. Na kevala bhyaha. Na kevala bhyaha. Adhyaha. Abhyaha. Iti abhiprayaha. Iti abhiprayaha. Okay, so we'll pause with that. Kim apeksha purvam iti aha. Hey, aha means space. The Upanishad says, Shankaracharya is saying, the Upanishad is saying, aha saying, says, Kim apeksha purvam. Compared to what this purvam before? Before means if you see, purvam literally means before. Before what? Suppose if somebody were to ask the question, Purvam Apeksha, Kim Apeksha Purvam, compared to what this is before? Aha. Okay, the Upanishad says, what does it say? Adhyaha Purvam. Adhyaha Purvam. So, Adhyaha is equal to Apsahite Bhyaha Panchabhute Bhyaha. Compared to the Panchabhutas. Compared to Panchabhutas. Because the, the, all our Shastrakaras know, all Indians also know, Panchabhutas are there. We've heard somewhere or the other, we've heard about Panchabhutas. Even the guy who knows nothing, no Shastram, has heard about Panchabhutas somewhere in some song, somewhere it will come. Okay? And so, Panchabhute Bhyaha Purvam. And uh, so, why Shastra, he is saying, Adhyaha means, don't simply take it as waters before water element. Take it as up sahite bhyaha. The panchabhutas along with water. Means what? Water is an upalakshanam for panchabhutas. Water is just a placeholder <coughs> which brings in all the panchabhutas. So it's like saying your, your friends have come home. And the two of them, uh, your friends are there. And then you ask them, hey, where is Vikram? Where is Vikram means what? They are three children. That means where are your children? Why are your children? Why, where? I, thought, I was expecting them also here. Where is Vikram? Means where are your children? Why are they not here? That is how it is to be understood. Okay. Panchabhute bhyaha ajayata utpanna na kevala bhyaha adbhyaha iti abhiprayaha yeah, iti abhipraya. That means what? Don't think kevala bhya adbhya. Don't think it is just exclusively water. It's not exclusively water. It includes all the panchabhutas. Iti abhipraya. That is the way this word should be interpreted. Correct? That's the way he's helping us interpret that. Don't take it literally. It stands for all the panchabhutas. Water stands for all the panchabhutas.
Then Ajay said to travel cup. Ajay then. Utpanna. Ajayata means Utpanna. Created form. Everything else we'll see in the next class. <clears throat> so Hiranyagarbha is being introduced in this mantra. And uh, yeah. And which which Hiranyagarbha, which is the entire cosmos, Guham Pravishya, which is not going to be different from our. What to say that? Right? That's what we can expect from this month. All that. We'll conclude. <clears throat> Om Pur Damadaf Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om